Hello everyone, in this video we'll, we'll write a code to check a given number is perfect or not. Now what do you mean by perfect number? So to demonstrate perfect number, so let's say 6. So first you have to find the factors of 6. So the fa factor of 6 is 1, then we have 2, then we have 3. So these are the factors of 6. So we have to exclude itself. So 1, 2, 3 are the factors. So when I add 1 plus 2 plus 3, the answer is 6. So when you add all the factors of a number, and if you get the same number, that's a perfect number. One more example. Let's take 28. Okay, so the factors of 28 are 1, then we have 2, then we have 4, then we have 7. And the last one, it's 14. So these are the factors for 28. So when you add 1 plus 2, which is 3, 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 14 is 28. Right, so when you add all this number, you will get 28, the same number. So this type of numbers are called as perfect number. So to just demonstrate this, let's first have a main function. So we have a main method here. Okay, and let's take a number. So we'll say we'll say n equal to 28. We'll go for this number, and uh, we'll use a boolean value. If it is a perfect number, we'll get true. Otherwise, we'll get false. So we'll say boolean b equal to. We'll use a perf We'll use a function called as is perfect, and then we'll pass n. So if that number is perfect number, then this is perfect function or a method will return you true. Otherwise, it will return false. Then we'll check if it is true. So if it is b, if b is true, then we'll print uh, it's a perfect number. Otherwise, we'll print else. In fact, for one statement, we don't require this curly bracket. So we'll just we'll try to uh, you know save the number of lines. Okay, and then here we'll print uh, it's not okay, it's not a perfect number. But the question arises what is this is perfect? It's a method, right? So we have to define that method. Now, how to define that method? We'll say public. Uh, since I don't want to create an object, I will use a static method which returns a Boolean value which is true or false, and the name of this method will be perfect which will take a number parameter which is n and now what next uh, will return by default as false okay so if I run this code now I will get false for sure so it will print it's not so we have to do some processing here now what the processing will require uh, so first we require a variable called as temps which will where will we'll, we will keep all the calculated values since we want to add this value, so we have to keep it somewhere. So we'll take a temp variable, or we can even take a sum variable for that matter. So we have a sum variable here. Now, since we need to find the factors, so we'll start with the first number. So we'll say int i equal to 1 and int less than. So we have to go till the number less than 1, okay? I mean, the, the, the number is 20, 28, so we have to go till 27. So we'll, we'll say n less than n and i plus plus and then we just have to check so how to check here so we'll use if 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 my n mod i if is equal equal to zero that means we are it's dividing the number in that case we'll say temp equal to temp plus i simple oh, no, it's not temp it's i'm taking a variable called a sum right Okay, just sum plus i. And that's it. And then once you get this sum, we'll check. If my n is equal to equal to sum, in that case, I will return true. Otherwise, it, it will return false. Clear? So if it returns true, it will go, again, the focus will go to the main method. Otherwise, it will return false. Simple. And if you run this code now, and it's a perfect number. Right. If I change this value to 27 and if I run this, it says it's not. The same thing goes for 6. If I run this, it says it's a perfect number. 
Now there is one more thing. So if uh, we don't have to go till the last number. So if we can just go till half, okay, half of the number, that will do. So as we seen in, in 28, if we can check till 14, that's enough. For 6, we can check till 3, that's enough. Simple, right? Uh, we can also use a shorthand here. So instead of saying sum plus equal to or sum equal to sum plus 1, we can simply say sum plus equal to i, which is a short form, shorthand for the operator. Um, yeah, that's it. So that's how you, you find a perfect number. So thanks for watching and do subscribe for other videos.